Hi guys, we're at 14545 Friar Professional Building. We're gonna go to the theater room. Follow me so you can see. Hi guys, this is the east wing of the building, newly renovated, so come on in. We have uh, the recording studio here, but we're gonna go to the theater room today. Hi, this is the theater room, and we're gonna conduct the interview here. Stay tuned for the interview. So today we're here at Mr. Kambas' Moravi's theater room at the Friar Professional Building. It's my pleasure to come and uh, conduct an interview with a philanthropist, a developer, an investor, and a personal close friend uh, who's taught me many things of just motivation, inspiration, and moving forward and not just settling for what life gives us today, always going forward for, you know, what hasn't been seen. The guy that pushes me to things that I don't even believe are possible to create possible. So without further ado, Mr. Kamis Maravi, how are you doing today? I'm great, thank you. You're wrong. Absolutely, absolutely. So um, we took a mini tour through the Friar Professional Building. You know, talk to us a little bit about the Friar Professional Building. The Friar Professional Building is a 62 suite, multi-tenant and five stores. Uh, and uh, it has, it is a luxury class A building. We have many prof, uh, high profile attorneys, uh, a few celebrities to name of, and we have gym, banquet hall, we have church, we have synagogue in two opposite side of the building. On the second floor, west wing is the synagogue. On the first floor, east wing is the church and many other stuff that you have to come and see. So, as far as I can remember, you've always been a really sharp dresser, okay? I, I don't think I've ever seen you wear the same outfit more than twice. So, I know some of your favorite designers range from Tom Ford, Gucci, Versace, you know, but I've never had the opportunity to really talk to you on a personal level. Sure. How do you choose your designers? How do you choose your fashion? And where do you see fashion going in five years? Yes, pardon me. Let me just get comfortable and get you comfortable. So, uh, I uh, use only three designers lately. One is a good friend of mine, Jamelli. The shirt and the jacket is by him. My pants and the shoes and the belt are Tom Ford and Etro. These are the three designers I use for the last two years. And uh, the fashion, uh, what I like is, yes, here is a Lockman watch. Uh, and this, I owe to my uncle uh, many years ago uh, in Italy. He took me to a shop to get this in this color and red to match a couple of things I had then. Uh, the fashion, it's going to be contemporary, young, and easy to wear. So that's how I see it in the next five years. And I know that fashion varies from Los Angeles to New York, to Miami, to Barbados, to Greece, to Italy, as I've had the privilege of seeing you being fashionable in all these areas. So, you know, out of all of those, they're all different styles. What do you think makes it be for that region? Uh, well, I, I'll tell you what I do when I go to those regions. One, my wife and I would take the first two days go shop the hell out, out of the town and then we adjust ourselves to that town whether if it's a loose and linen shirts and linen pants and just uh, slip on shoes or uh, we're in Paris and we're wearing very nice suit and sharp uh, pants and 
uh, shoes and so on and so forth. So you adjust to their area. In New York, we always dress up. And since most of the time it's towards being cold and hot, then, you know, you layers and that's why you match everything, your coat, your suit, your scarf and so on and so forth. Here in LA, wear jeans and t-shirt, although I can't see myself five days a week to wearing that. I'll come in with a shirt and pants and a jacket if I'm not wearing a suit. And I'll make sure everything matches from the socks to the shoes to the belt to the watch those are the accessories that need to be matched and then uh, the socks would play into pull the pants and the jacket together but I'd like to talk to you about real estate Jabra that's my uh, forte so, uh, politics are very very personal it is like religion you don't get personal with people. So I'm not going to talk about parties or one side or the other. We're going to talk about in general. One, real estate, as people are asking me, uh, Mr. Marabi, why you're not in marketing and advertising? You're very good. Or why don't you have chain of the stores? Why real estate? Or why not to be in the stock market? I tell them the name goes with it. Real state. It's real. It's tangible. You have money in the stock market, it becomes a paper if it goes down. You have stores when there is no client, customers, your store goes down and you close down. Advertising when there are not clients out there to advertise, you close down. But real estate stays and comes back. If you can hold it, it comes back. Going back to the uh, presidential election, I think either one of the parties and the candidate who wins would be beneficial to real estate because there are a lot of foreign money coming in. Uh, whether if it's one side or the other, if it's one side, a lot of Russian money is coming in. Whether if it's on the other side, a lot of Chinese money is coming in. So I don't think the real estate is going to change. We are in a business that is cyclical. So, and it's every eight years, except the last cycle when two cycle without having a correction. So we're looking for a correction and usually the correction is between 10 to 20 percent and uh, it's been eight years 2008 2016 so i think after the election in 2017 we will have a minor correction and if and you know and everyone knows if you hold your rental property it would come back with many fold. So that's my answer to you. Sounds good. So Mr. Maravi, it's been a pleasure, you know, taking a little bit of time. I know that your hourly is very important and you have multiple businesses that you have to run. So before we say goodbye, well, what's something that you want to say to your audience and to everybody that's just tuning in today? Stay tuned, go to my website, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, and be connected to us for all the good things and my seven points of becoming uh, a real estate owner. Thank you, as always.